everyone, it's Sign Fire Marie here, and I'm just going to try to explain a bit of a problem that I've been having with my chip smart bands lately. So it's been trying. I was trying to charge up some of the smart bands so I could do some videos of them yesterday, but I ran into some problems because the batteries seem to be over discharging and that they're not able to charge the computer anymore. So I'm going to show you the one working one that I have. This for some reason hasn't deeply discharged as the other ones had. So let's see it's flashing here. And now I try to plug it in. And like it's supposed to do, it flashes purple when it's about to charge. And when it's done charging, then it will turn solid purple because that's what it's supposed to do according to the directions. But see, now if I try to plug in another one that's completely dead, for example this one, you will see a very different result. It's kind of more spastically flashing purple, so it's like what I'm seeing here is that it is not recognized that the charger is no longer recognizing the battery because it has been deeply discharged. So. What I'm going to have to do to fix this is take apart the is take apart the smart band and either find a way to jump the old battery or replace them entirely. I'm just thinking maybe taking a little bit of power from one of the working batteries and maybe try to maybe try to wire it to the one that has been too deeply discharged because these batteries are less than a year old and they shouldn't be completely dead because I still have some Ivo batteries that are 19 years old and still hold an hour of charge. But then again, it's like, then it's like I'm not gonna go to Chip's customer service because it's like they've been, because it's like they're pretty stupid, and the only thing they know how to do is just co is basically copy and paste responses on the that are on the website because clearly they're just like it's like I think I'm pretty sure my eyebos could probably do a better job with customer service because like they're either only about replacing things or fixing simple errors because. I guess doing actually repairing things these days is too much work, which is not the case. It's like a lot of people don't want to have to replace their things. It'd be nice if we could just repair them because I've had one of my chips stuck in DFU mode for months because while we won't give me any code to let me exit the mode, it's just like, oh, you, re you plug in the battery for a few hours. It's like, yeah, I've tried that 10 times and it hasn't worked. So I guess I have to take things into my own hand at this point. Because I have some electronics repair skills, even though I know for certain that I'm not an expert by any means. But I'm, I'm just going to see what's in the inside of this thing to see if I can find a solution to this problem. Because I know I'm not the only one. And it'll be a lot easier if people, if you don't, if there's a way to do this yourself and not have to go through Huawei customer service to get the whole band replaced. This shouldn't be too hard to take apart after I dismantled an entire Ivo the other day because I'm painting it. And then I fixed the tailpiece on my 220 because it was slightly out of alignment and not booting. But thank goodness I fixed that problem because I was worried my 220 was going to break. But she's all good, so luckily I don't have to send any more things to repairs than already need to be. So when I take this apart... This appears to be a small three points. This lighting sucks in this apartment, but it appears to be a small 130 milliamp, 3.7 volt lithium polymer battery. So jumping it might not be a great idea, but lithium ion batteries do have a tendency to not be recognized on chargers if they've become too deeply discharged. So hopefully, because I, I, I did have seen some similar batteries online, so I might just replace them on the internet. Because it's like, it's like, it's just have to connect the two wires to the board, which would be pretty easy. And if I, maybe I can figure, if, if I can figure out how to, like, manually get power into them, just, like, maybe by connecting the battery to, like, just connecting it manually to the USB cord. I have to try both. I just don't want these things exploding on me, because that would be unfortunate. But anyway, I'll keep you updated on what I figure out and maybe finally figure out the, what is causing this problem because it's an irritating one because it's like these batteries shouldn't deeply discharge that quickly. But I hope you found this at least slightly interesting and let me know if you have a solution to the problem and I would greatly appreciate it. Thanks for watching.